speech. We finished golf. Fine last night. We didn't just arrive, Ronnie. Talking to your mother and two sisters. Very good. Miss Patton, how are you today? Not, I'm so sad. Our eldest daughter, she couldn't be here. I know. Oh, I'm oh, I can't believe it. It has just been miserable. We've had no one to talk to. Nobody to laugh at. Me. You guys haven't been having a good time, I see. No. back from eating a good meal. Everyone was thinking about you. Everyone missed you terribly. Hey, Linda. Why are you? Mm. Linda, oh, wait. Honey. Let me get my hat to show you how I've kept control of this crown. Linda who? I thought they was all here. One missing? I hadn't even thought about her. I understand you had a lengthy conversation with Linda this morning, Nancy. Yeah, yeah. I think it probably would have been cheaper for her just to have come. Is there anything else that you didn't talk about that you want to tell her? Oh, for $144. All right. No, not this time, but I I'll keep you informed. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh, no, not right now. You can, you can see, Linda, it's an exciting time here. <laughs> Will it fit you? Go. This is my hat that says that I am in charge of this group and they have to listen to what I say. Note what it says on it. But does it work? Yes, yeah, so she, she's doing a great job. Why, thank you, she's bossing every. I mean, she's directing oh, everyone. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. She works pretty good, don't she? You think she's gonna start? She, she. She got a door in the group. Linda noticed everything is all cleaned up. Nanny, did you have a good breakfast? Very nice. All right, all right. Very nice. Did you guys eat, eat good, Julie? How was it, Leah? Yep, it was great. Good. Best Let breakfast. Aunt Linda, you missed a good breakfast. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning. How are you? We missed you. That Carolina Opry was wonderful. Ronnie just really enjoyed looking at the girl and the... Uh... Have church. Your daddy is going to preach. And he's nervous, can you tell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Linda, here's Michelle. She walked around and gave orders for everyone to get here. All right, Linda, everybody's here ready for church. And proud of it, too, man. That's good. Everybody's so excited, you can tell. Especially, uh... Michelle. Especially director. Michelle, the camp director. Linda? Linda? Ronnie didn't do breakfast this morning. He cut me off, I know. I know he did, I know he did. Wait for you Are you full, Jay? Jay had two waffles, you cut, you cut three cups off. of coffee. You look at him, he's fat. He's fat I and satisfied. He ate plenty of breakfast. Eggs. I didn't even get 73, after which our photographer will leave some prayer. Yeah. 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 Sacrifice that was made for us. I'd like for just a few minutes to talk about, I think. God 
God made man with the ability to think. If he didn't have, if we didn't have that ability, we would still all be in a very primitive state. Uh, we think from day to day, we think from time to time, we improve ourselves, we improve our, uh, our conditions and our position by thinking. Since this is God given, let us never lighten up on it. Let us continue to think. But there is a time to think and then that time to obey. Since we think on our job, since we think in our everyday activities, it is easy to fall into the trap of thinking religiously. And what I mean by that is sometimes we substitute our thinking for what is given, what is revealed to us. Probably because of our lack of knowledge of God's Word, we, we make a substitution. Well, I think. Isaiah 55 and verses 8 and 9 talks about God's thoughts are so much higher than our thoughts that as Paul puts it to the Corinthians, the foolishness of God's thought is greater than our greatest thoughts. I'd like to talk about a couple of things that has happened in, in the scriptures that tells us where we cannot think because we do not have the understanding or the wisdom of God. In Genesis chapter 4, we know that Cain killed Abel. Why? Because Abel fought a better sacrifice. We turn over to Hebrews 11 and we find out why. God told Cain and Abel what to bring. Abel brought the proper thing. Cain brought what I thought. Cain was condemned. Another example of man's thinking, when, uh, when the people went into the promised land, uh, their general was Joshua. The first obstacle was Jericho. Now, what military genius that we have today or have ever had would ever have conquered Jericho the way God planned it to be? The way it was taken, not a man's life was lost. No danger to anyone. I think another example is found in, in 2 Kings. <clears throat> there was a general by the name of Nahum. He was in Samaria. He had leprosy. And of course, being the leader of the armies, that was a real catastrophe. But the little Jewish girl, who was a, who was a servant, thinking of her master, says, you know, there is a man of God in Judea that can that can cure it. Eventually the story goes on, Naaman went to Elisha. Elisha told him what? Go dip yourself in the river Jordan. I think I'll go home and dip myself in my own river. Our rivers are much cleaner than the River Jordan. But his story goes on, you remember, he eventually was convinced that he should get himself in the room. And as a result, of course, he was cleansed from leprosy. Yes. That Jesus died for one church. He didn't divide, he didn't die for twenty. He, he died for only one. That church that is revealed to us in the New Testament. Any other will not save us. Since God has spoken, Hebrews 12, chapter 1, verses 1 and 2, we can walk by revealed word. We can know what's right. We do not have to think and imagine and come up with theories and possibilities where we 
might have saved salvation. Since God has said what to do, dare we do anything else? A million people can think one thing, but does that necessarily make it right? I just remind you of this in closing. In 2 Thessalonians, uh, second chapter, and uh, verse 9 and 10. And with all the deceptions of wickedness and those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, so as to be saved, and for this reason, God will send upon them a might of send upon them a deluding influence so that they might believe what is false. If we understand that, it, given the talents and the abilities that God gave us as free moral agents, if we choose to do something out of our own thinking, not because God said so, then he will allow us to do it. And if you understand what he's saying here is by, seeing, by sending us a deluding influence, it's simply that we are allowing ourselves, uh, saving our conscience in that I think this is okay. I think, I think. God says, if you want to think, you think. I have told you, but since you want to think, you will answer to God at Judgment Day. Thank you. Linda, this is uh, <coughs> this is a letter. This is a letter, to Linda, from your brother-in-law. And, 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 and I never write Linda, and since she never we, calls me, and I don't call her. Since we are at Allen's in. house, <laughs> we'll let Allen go first. No, Allen, is there anything you want to say to Linda? No, I'd like to give her something to get excited about. No way, old man. He's disgusting. <laughs> okay, it's, Allen. It's not something to get excited about. I know. Personally. Right? Anything else, Allen? Is that all, Alan? That's enough. Okay. Jasper? No, I, like I said, I, I really don't want to say anything to Linda. She never calls me, never writes, and I don't call her, and I don't write her, so I have nothing to say. <laughs> all right. Jay? Linda who? Is, is that all? Linda who? Yes, I do have something to say to Linda. Linda? Anything else, Jay? Are you running it? Is it going still? Can, can you see the what? The red light? No, I can't. Well, then keep on talking. You're doing a good job. Your tongue, your tongue is lubricated as usual. All right. Tell, tell them, Catherine. We didn't get breakfast the way we should have. We got no fresh donuts and no bacon and eggs. Wendy cleaned up the kitchen. What did Ronnie do? Nothing! Thank you. Mr. Patton? Yeah, Linda, we you want a donut? We don't have any donuts because yeah. Ronnie didn't go get it. I appreciate you sending your family anyway. Next even, time, even make better plans. <laughs> okay, Linda, you're supposed to say what we're doing. Okay, Linda, this is... Uh, Gullet's message to you. This is Gullet's message to you, Linda. The Gully family's message to Linda Stoddard. Okay, ready? Give me an L. L-I-N-D-A. Linda, Linda, Linda. 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 <laughs> we just wanted to let you know what you what meals you're missing. Another this, meal. This is the Gully's lunch, the second one. Yesterday they were playing golf. I'm cutting up watermelon. If you will look on the table, you will find chicken, ham, and Nancy, what else was it? Chicken dogs. fingers and hot corn dog nuggets and mm -hmm. potato salad and and we're even having watermelon because it's been so hot out on the beach. It's been a beautiful day. Beautiful Could not have asked for a better day. I mean, this is the best day on the beach. Couldn't ask for a better weather. And I am picking the seeds out of watermelon even. Oh, we get, oh, oh what a sweet. Are the kids going to have a better one?
Jeff and Chip, y'all will need to wait just a little bit. Okay? I'm even we'll going back out. And then we'll call you. It won't be long. I don't know why we're doing this. Why don't we just go? We're getting this up on film day. I wouldn't wait. Y'all Did you come up and shower now? No, I can't tell the trash. They're already pre-cooked. Oh, okay, so. they don't they don't look like what time is that? 10 till 2. 10 till 2. Leah? Hi. Hi. You wanna say a word to Linda? This is this is our dinner dinner meal. Your favorite tacos. Oh, it was good. Nanny fixed it. Papa fixed it, and it looks great. I cut up those. Make it, Nanny. And what did you do, Nanny? Did you fix this? I'm glad, Nanny, because I heard rumor not to go downstairs, and I didn't come down. Oh. You were asleep then, weren't you? No, I wasn't asleep. Okay, Papa. I cut up the onions. Cut up the onions. No. I was supposed to cut up the onions. <laughs> what, Nanny, what did Papa do? He made the ice. <laughs> <laughs> he made the ice. He, he got the ice. And, um, I poured the juice off the corn. Then I poured the juice off the corn. He was All a support system. Anyway. And I... Not too much support. I make every one of the tacos. Pour out your skin. Uh, is that before you got in trouble or after? I went out and got the ice. Right for Sam Burns. And I put ice in all the glasses. Speak up, we can't hear you. But I want, know, I want to know that I didn't shirk my duty. I, uh, you want to sit down here, buddy? Time to tacos. Hey, Aaron, you can have these. You want these? I like the And I advised on several things. Thank you. I think Thank you. Okay. Well, I'll get back. I don't have a bottle of oh, that. <laughs> No, okay, me, David, me, uh, me, me, me. David, I have a question for you, friend. Uh, uh, you? Here you go. What, what are you doing, David? I'm feeding the baby for Catherine. No. She asked me to. I'm still feeding the baby for Catherine. She had, no. no. David, that's really good. Debbie, I know you had a comment about that. Um, no, me, 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 this me. is quite interesting that David would do this. He would not feed his younger brother, but yet he will feed a baby. For uh, Catherine. A baby doll. A baby doll. No, it's just a doll smarter. Yeah. Uh, no <laughs> Another good example of cousin bonding. Yeah. Cousin bonding. That's that's good. That should be the title of this tape. Cousin bonding. I think you should take a good picture of Emily. Yes. One in each Linda. Linda Shin. And one, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Out of sight, out of mind. There you hear it, Linda. From your sister. Jeff, just carry her. No, 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 no. no. She wants him to. Okay. You want me to do this one? I'm always okay. okay. Ready? My team. TV. 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 Uh, we got that much right. <laughs> How many words? How many words? It's a comedy. Nanny. It's a comedy. Nanny. Nanny. How many words? Yeah. Yeah. How many words? 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 DQ. DQ. Two words. Laugh in. Two words. It's a comedy. Or a a hall show. And a city hall. Two words. The, in living color? First word. First word. That's what it's called. Sounds, sounds like. like. Rain. Sun. 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 Fall. Moon. Moon. Sound like moon. 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 A. Is it? A. B. C. D. E. F. G. F. Moon. G. A. B. C. Goonies. Goonies too.
London, this is breakfast of the last morning. Your sisters all have a message for you and your mother. And they asked me to, expect, to take this especially just for you. Nancy, you want to go first since yes. you're the youngest? Linda, we need you. We need organization. We need somebody to take care of this group. Please come next. We need a bossy person. Please, please. Thanks, Nancy. Any parting words to your sister? Well, we definitely are um, cooking the bacon. Slaving over a hot oven over here. We need another body. Yes. <laughs> we need another person to help cook. Um, we definitely needed a nurse here. We had boo-boos. And then we had this big guy we had to all keep an eye on. And keep him off Emily. Oh, I was talking about Ronnie. Oh, I thought you meant out in the beach. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we won't talk about the guy that tried to pick Emily up on the beach. We won't say anything about that. That might worry Linda. So let's not talk about that. But anyhow, we miss you. We look forward to seeing you next year. Wendy had the idea that in 92, um, that we have it at your house so that we can come to her graduation. That's a great idea. Wendy is just full of great ideas. <laughs> what do you think we have? Mother, I haven't even looked in the mirror. Well, tell me when you want me to start. I don't know. It doesn't make a difference. Nanny, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, because we're it's all It's family. Alive. It's family, right, Wendy? I wondered what you meant by that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we on each other's? <laughs> do you think it's time to leave? Yes. <laughs> Linda, we all missed you. Uh, it, you know, it's like having a toothache. So, no, it's not like having a toothache. It's not like having a toothache. Let me compare it to something else. Wait a minute. Let Ronnie it, stop it. Rewind it. Start rewind. again. I don't want that on the tape. Go, Mama. Linda, you're a part of us. And we miss you. You know how, like, if something is missing, your right arm yeah, or right. your leg or something? Yeah, <laughs> it, we really missed you, and we wish you could have been here. We had a great time. Everything was super. Everybody was on good behavior, uh, except me and Papa. And um, we had a good time at charades. We had a good time at the show. show. Uh, the other night, uh, mm -hmm. except for Ronnie right. getting up, right. right. we were worried about him, but he's chipper this morning, so I think he's glad to get back to you. I think he's missing you. I believe Ronnie would have felt a lot better if you had been here. Now, he might not have even got sick if you had, if you had been here. But we love you, Linda, and God bless you this year and your family. Michelle has something else to say, Linda. I just want to comment. Nancy reminded me of this. I wanted to make sure that it was on record. I beat everybody at Top Top. I beat all the men. I beat all the women. I beat all the kids. I was the winner. That's it. Of course. We have really missed you this weekend. Um, everybody's packing up and getting ready to go home today. Um, we really appreciate Ronnie bringing the kids and us having our are being able to watch our kids cousin bond. Um, hope your weekend and your stomach is much better. Love you.